Good day, folks. Here I'm going to show you one of my concepts I'm currently, I'm currently working on, two versions right now. So here's the first schematic, and as you see, it seems like a basic radio circuit, but there are changes to it. This is a very interesting circuit based on my previous concepts that I'm trying to work with here. So the loop antenna gives us a small form of DC voltage, but what we do is we don't use this voltage natively like most people would do in the previous circuits you may have seen similar to this. Instead, we pulse this small DC voltage into a 100 feet, sorry, 1000 feet LMR 400 coil it's a, it's the spool you don't touch it basically a thousand foot and you pulse with the help of the npn transistor the power the current from the loop antenna now we're going to get a back emf spike with this and we convert this back emf spike with the help of the diode the pause the negative spike becomes the positive spike it's a reverse action and this charges up the 12 volt battery so we're converting the um, ambient energy back to amps here this way by using it as a trigger for the back EMF. This is where the big power comes in, is the back EMF, that very sharp spike we want to produce. Now, we don't want to waste any energy to provide this effect, so we use as little as we can for the controller circuit. As you see, it's isolated through the inverter. It runs its own DC 6 volts power supply, very low 100 MA, and the 6 volts pulse width modulator at your frequency of choice. You're going to have to experiment everywhere. is going to be a bit different. You find the optimal frequency for the coil and what you're getting with the RF and you'll pulse it just right and that will be your action. So there's a very very interesting way of getting the energy right there. So next I show you the earth battery version almost the same concept. Take a look at the schematic you will see instead of a loop antenna basically we use the earth battery setup. We want to put these two rods as far away as possible to also take advantage of the difference of ground potentials between the two uh, distant locations. This will be your your input that we're going to do as the same as the same thing from the first circuit. We're going to use this as the input and we're going to pulse it with our controller circuit which runs through the 12 volt battery with a very low input to pulse and the earth currents you may actually get more out of that so naturally depending on your local environment one method or the other will work better you just have to experiment and uh, figure out which will work best so I just thought I'd share this all with you. This is what I'm experimenting with right now. I'll give you more updates as I find more information.